today I have a little bit of a different video, a tutorial on how you can fix Media Encoder and Premiere Pro not finding each other's LUTs and exporting footage without the LUTs actually present. So let's get right into it. Very different today, I am presenting you my new setup, basically. This great white wall with nothing in it. I guess this is one of the struggles of a traveling filmmaker. You have to kind of like find always new spots to film something and create your videos. But creating a course or creating tutorial videos, I want it to be without distractions and in a very clean environment. I'm probably going to create a video or even a course in this setting and I want to try this out and this is going to be the first one of those. And it's going to be about something that I got increasingly annoyed about and that is the problem between Media Encoder and Premiere Pro. They both support LUTs and those LUTs, uh, you probably know, you can use them to create styles and color sets and you kind of like change your footage with these creative styles and or you can use them to work with log files to kind of like recreate or bring back the color and to bring back certain styles, kind of like presets in Lightroom. The problem, however, was that between Premiere Pro and Media Encoder, sometimes those presets got lost in between because you actually had to tell both of the programs which LUT you were using, or rather, you have to put the files into both of their structures. And just let me show you what that looked like in the past. So what we have here is a Premiere Pro project. It's one of the videos that I recently published and it's kind of like one of those cinematic sequences. And as you can see here, the colors all look really nicely and nicely edited. However, if I go into the color space for my graphics and coloring, right now you can see that I'm using a LUT that's called Aqua RSX52++, which is from the VSEO cam like collection. It's also a Lightroom preset. It's really cool that we now also in Lumetri and Media Encoder, we can use uh, Lightroom presets as LUTs basically. And that's really, really cool. Now sitting down and editing my footage, I actually noticed that I talked about something that is not really correct. And that is that you can use Lightroom files inside Premiere Pro as LUTs. That information, as I stated, it was actually not correct. I just got a little confused because I have some Lightroom presets that are actually named the same way as they are in Premiere Pro. And that is because they were created for both of these platforms. One of the systems uses cube files that is Premiere Pro and the other uses XMP files that is Lightroom. You can certainly find ways to bring files from Lightroom presets into Premiere Pro. And there is a process to kind of like convert those files. But as they come as an XMP file, you can't really just import them in Premiere Pro as a LUT file. That's actually wrong information but let's continue with the rest of the video, which is hopefully correct. But let's change this to something more extreme. For example, the Aqua Scala 200++, which is a black and white. So we actually see the difference between the two when we bring it up to Media Encoder. And so what happens now, if I go ahead and start the process of exporting this footage, I go here and I click NQ File. The reason why I want to choose NQ file is because I want to keep working in Premiere Pro. For example, I want to uh, grab a frame for a thumbnail on YouTube or I want to edit on a different project. To be able to do that, we will queue the project into Media Encoder. Media Encoder then builds a queue for all the things that you want to export over time. For example, if you want to have an Instagram edit and a YouTube edit export at the same time without you having to wait in between, you can just both queue them up in Media Encoder and then Media Encoder can do that. Let's say once you're done working, you just hit that, you go eat something and you come back, the files are exported ready to go. So that's really awesome and that that's possible and that we have this ability. But let's see what happens when I queue this up and it opens up in Media Encoder. So what we see here now is the Media Encoder open and you see here the projects here, the export settings are there. And if I open this up, the preset setting, I get the same export thing. But as you can see here, it's still in color. Everything is in color like I expected because the LUT isn't actually available for media encoder. And that was a real pain for a really long time. And I kept researching this. I know that the solution has been for years to put the files in two folders, one for media encoder and one for Premiere Pro. So they both kind of know which files to use and that they are available to the programs. The great thing now is Adobe recently actually started using user voice as a feedback forum and a platform where you can vote for things. And I provide links that I talk about in the description down below. I want to mention that this fix probably wasn't necessarily because of 
of this user form platform because the fix was already implemented as the platform and as the requests came in. But it is definitely a platform where we can look into problems that we are having and see that there is a solution for it already. In this case, Adobe staff actually mentioned that this is a fix that is already available in the 12.1 version that is uh, opened up at NAB. And they link to basically a overview and the kind of like the release notes of this release. And I will link those two in the description down below as well. And what we'll find is if we look at the new feature list and especially the new Lumetri Color custom LUT directory, we will find that there is a common location for those files which is available to Media Encoder and Premiere Pro. And this is one of the best things between that pretty much ever because now you don't have to remember where you put those LUT files or if you have put them in both folders or if you have them only in one folder and then randomly a LUT is missing and Media Encoder doesn't know what to do with it so it does just export it without the LUT and then you have footage that doesn't look really great and I've actually been burned by that in the last few days and weeks when I was doing my videos. I forgot to check the footage and it's kind of like it's looking close enough that I don't really worry about it because I have to upload and daily vlogging it's like in the schedule and on and on and on so what happened now is that I have a bunch of videos on my YouTube channel that are not looking the way that I saw them in the Premiere Pro editor because they are not with the LUT because I exported them through Media Encoder and I wasn't using this common file and it's actually something that's already existing. Even more disturbing right now for me is that there's still people making these kind kind of like this is how you fix this videos even though that there is already a fix and the fix is no longer to put the files in both directories the fix is to put them in one directory now i'm on a mac so i'm only going to show this how it's done on a mac because i never reuse windows and so i don't have this available but you can see the file structures shown on this website as well so if you have a windows machine you can just use that what we're going to do first here is we are going to close Premiere Pro as well as Media Encoder because we want those two programs to actually get those changes and it's not something that is going to just adopt in the background. So with those two programs closed, we're going to open up the application folder and here we have the Media Encoder as well as Premiere Pro. And with Premiere Pro, we are going to ahead and click, right click and say show package content. Inside of here, we're going to go to content, Lumetri, and then we are seeing here the LUTs folder. This folder here has the creative as well as the legacy and the technical files. And as you can see, I have a bunch of technical and especially I have a whole lot of creative LUTs. So what we have open now is the Premiere Pro LUT folder, and we're going to just keep this open for now. And I'm going to open up the application folder again here in the media encoder, same process, uh, da -da, show package contents, contents, Lumetri, and LUTs. And we see we have the same folder structure. For me right now, there is a creative one missing because it's not available to me in the export process, which we've just seen. We have those two folders open with Media Encoder as well as Premiere Pro. And now we're going to go to a folder where we can store those creative and technical LUTs together. And that's in the library system. That's not actually in the applications. Now I'm using this computer as a one person machine only. So I'm going to set this up as a one person user in my library system. But as you can see on the website, you can also do this for multiple people and the links are shown as well. So you can set those folders up. But now I'm going to go to the folder that is actually my library folder. And to do this, we go to go to folder. In here, we're going to type this little tilde and then library application support. And once this is open, we can see that now we have the Adobe, which is described over there. And there is a folder that's called common. And in here, this folder actually does not exist when you get there. So we want to go and make a new folder that is called LUTs. And inside of here, we're making a folder that is called creative and one folder that is called technical. Now for me, I thought the easiest version to get everything available for both systems is to just go and go to Premiere Pro, the version that I opened, which is all the files that are available to me, and then just take those and move them over. As you can see, however, if you just move them over, you're not getting the real deal. This is just a reference to the files in Premiere Pro, and I didn't want that. So we are going to delete all of this again. To move those files over from Premiere Pro, make sure you have the Premiere Pro version because those are the files that you know that are there and you have been using them in your project files. So just select those files, hold them, 
move them over. Now you can see that this would actually create a link. We don't want that, so you just hit command and hold it, and then you let go. Now what we have is we have creative, legacy, as well as technical. All of those files are now in this common folder in the library. We can close those two finder items now. With all of that, now you have an actual fix to the problem of having to have those LUT files in two folders. You just have them in one folder and they're accessible to Media Encoder as well as for Premiere Pro. So you won't have this problem again where you have a LUT in one folder and not in the other and accidentally export without having that available to Media Encoder, which really sucks because you won't figure that out unless you actually look through the footage very, very detailed. And like I said, it happened to me multiple times that this was something that I missed and now those videos are on YouTube and I can't really do anything about them except republishing, which really doesn't make any sense at this point. I hope this was helpful for you. Please let me know in the comments down below if it was. And also let me know about other video ideas that you might be interested in hearing about. I have done a whole lot of uh, tutorial content last year, but now I'm getting back into the groove and I want to create more content like this. Just like I also want to keep my daily video upload schedule. I kind of want to mix it up between videos like this as well as videos that I made over the last two weeks that are more vlog style, more thinking and more explorative. With all of that said, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit the like button and leave a comment down below. And if you like what I do in this channel, please subscribe and stay for more. I'm going to edit all of this now. This is going to be what I upload today. And I will see you tomorrow with a new video. See you then. Bye bye. Just like